Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we have just changed rooms at the Atlantis Hotel. Um, they have now moved us into one of the newly refurbished rooms. They're renovating all of the rooms in the hotel. At the moment they're up to the sixth floor. In a couple of years time they'll all be refurbished. You're going to have to bear with me because unfortunately I'm suffering with a cold which is great. It's all you want on a holiday isn't it? So my throat is a little bit croaky at the moment. So we have now been allocated room number 6414 which is on the sixth floor and we've still got the palm view which is what we've upgraded to anyway. It's probably a nicer view actually, although it's not higher up because we was on the 17th floor. You can see the pool and the city landscape as well in the background there which is lovely. So anyway, I'm going to show you the room, try and avoid myself getting in the mirrors because we've been down by the pool all day and I'm not very presentable. So anyway, so this is a room as you first walk in. We've got the same layout as our last room. We was in a non-renovated room. There'll be another YouTube video for that, so go and check that one out. I'll link it up in the top right corner now for you. So on the right hand side here again, we've got the mini bar area. They've got a mirror up here, and then we've got tea and coffee making facilities. And we've got complimentary water as well, which they have replenished more than enough on our previous days here. So underneath here, we've got the mini bar again, which is exactly the same as before. We've got slightly different units. So again, um, the mini bar is automatically charged to the room. So if I was to pick anything up, it would be charged straight away to our room. So we've got plenty of drinks in there and snacks. And this side is a little mini fridge, which is tiny. And on the top here, we've got some um, spirits as well. And they've also got a, is that a price list? Yeah, so it is a price list there. So you can get an idea of how much they're charging. So we've got some snacks in this top drawer here. And then we've got some mugs and some cutlery and glasses in that drawer. And then in here we've got the tea and different coffees and stuff like that. So they've changed the carpets as well. So the carpets are really plush at the moment. They, they're brand new. Um, and then we've got a full-size mirror here on the left-hand side. And then on the right here we've got the bathroom area. Which again we've got the double doors which can be closed to make it private. And then we've got... Um, the brand new bathroom which is really really nice um, this room is much better than the previous room um, so the bath we've got a freestanding bath which is amazing it looks so nice um, again we've got bathrobes there towels we've actually got a washing line here so instead of hanging wet clothes outside on the balcony you've got a washing line there in your bathroom you didn't realize that until the cleaner uh, very kindly hung some of our Close up. <laughs> so we've got a nice picture on the wall there, you can see the reflection of the TV in the background there. Um, and then in here we've got, um, these will be bath salts in here, if I can get it open. There we are. So we've got bath salts in there, and then luxury soap. And then we've got the lovely sink area, which again is very, very similar to the previous one. I'm not sure if this is brand new or whether they've refurbished the old ones um, but it looks much nicer and I love these copper glass tiles that they've put on the background here uh, as a splashback that's really really nice so yeah we've got a huge mirror there and then we've got a makeup mirror and the same things that we had in our previous room so a sanitary bag a vanity kit and a shower cap and also body lotion as well. They've got bathroom scales there as well, which I'm not sure why you'd want to weigh yourself on holiday. So a hot and cold tap there. It's all very nice, I love this. And then the mirror here is, um, it's got a light inside it, which is really pretty. So we've got shaving sockets there. And then we've got the toilet again in here, like previous. And then this side here we've got the shower, which again is very similar to our previous one, although it has been retiled. Um, the shower head and the shower nozzle are the same as the last room, so I think they've kept that the same, because our one was really nice in the last room anyway, but it, you can tell it has actually been used, so they haven't changed that by the looks of things. And then in the back here we've got the shelving area, so on the last room we didn't have the shelf in the middle so they've added that which is quite handy actually because sometimes you have more products rather than putting them on the floor you can put them on the shelves they've also put in here shampoo conditioner and shower gel and again I love these copper glass tiles 
So yeah, that's really, really nice. And then again, they've got the double doors that can be closed off so you can keep the bedroom private from the bathroom. We've got an interconnecting door as well, which lead into the other room next door. So we'll keep that locked. And here on the right hand side, we've got the wardrobe area. So we've got a, another pillow there. We've got a prayer mat, plenty of hangers there. Um, iron and ironing board, um, a stand for your suitcase. And then they've also got here a sewing kit, uh, a shoe mitt um, and laundry bags as well as slippers. And then we've got a complimentary safe as well in here. So they've got a little um, tray there so you can put things on. And it tells you how to use it. And then a full size hair dryer as well. Let's have a look, see if they've kept the same hair dryer as last time. This is very similar to the one that I had in the last room, but I think this is a new hair dryer. It looks new. Uh, it's now getting dusk now, so the lighting isn't that great in here. Um, it's probably about half past five, maybe six o'clock in the evening. So this is the bedroom area. Same layout as before, but they've got different furniture in here and they've changed the carpets. It smells new in here, so it's really nice. They've got um, cupboard space in there, which we've already got stuff in there. And then we've got two drawers here and then another cupboard space down there. And then you can also put your luggage there if you wanted to, I suppose. And then over here, the camera focus a bit there. So we have got the lamp. I need to ring reception because we can't get this lamp to work. And then we've got two drawers underneath there. And then the same on the other side. But we've also got the TV, remote, uh, telephone um, and tissues as well as a notepad. So either side of the bed they've got these reading lights which are um, touch on and touch off. So they've changed the... Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear some very, very faint sort of building work going on upstairs. Um, it sounds like a slight, maybe a drilling sound. It could get quite annoying if you was in here more than one night, which reception did warn us, actually. But because I really, really wanted to do this YouTube video to show everyone in this room, it's our last night, so I said it doesn't really matter. Because they told us that they tend to do the building work, um, can be from about 8 a.m., through to around 5 p.m. So it's gone beyond the time where they said that there will be building work. So hopefully we won't hear that for much longer. So yeah, they've changed the furniture in here. So we've got a nice lamp there and a, a sofa area. It's like a mini sofa, but it's, it's smaller than the sofa, but it's bigger than an armchair. So you can get two people on there. Um, and then we've got a, a table there. And then on this side, we've got the desk areas before. So they've got this backlit, oh no, they have changed the picture, I had a different picture on there earlier. When I first came in I thought it was an iPad, but it's not. Yeah, look, it just changed. Okay, when we first walked in it said about ordering room service, so I thought it was like a tablet that you could order room service on, but it's not. Okay, so this is a desk area, so we've got a lovely mirror there, which is like a mosaic, sort of a pearl mirror. And then a lovely lamp there. And then the bottom of this desk is like a glass. It feels, it looks like glass, but it doesn't feel like glass. Now they've got something here, this side of the desk. What is this? So we've got two drawers here with the in-room dining and some um, stationery in there. And then in this drawer here, I'm presuming that's empty. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, power sockets. <laughs> So take it less on and off for the sockets then. Okay, yeah, so the desk area sort of wraps around all the way underneath the TV. So we've got plenty of storage space. And then we've got the same air conditioning control there as in our previous room. Again, like before, we've got the double doors here that will um, close off the bathroom area. And they've kept the doors, but they have changed them. They are new doors and they've got new handles, which are like a fancy, I don't know what it's meant to be, like a coral, I suppose like a chrome handle, so that's really, really nice. So yeah, that opens up there. Um, oh, and I forgot to say in the previous video, here, 
as you first walk in, you've got these little buttons here on the side which you can press if you want the do not disturb sign on or if you want the cleaner to make up the room. So you can press them and turn them off and there's a light on the outside of the room which lights up so they know not to disturb you. If you find these videos helpful and informative, please give them a thumbs up. It really helps the videos get recognized on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll also include the links to my social media accounts so you can follow me on there as well.